This video is designed for parents of students in Year 9 who are going to make their options choices during this academic year. It will give them information about how the options process works and the key dates which they need to be aware of. And this will enable them to make informed and well-considered decisions about their options. As I'm sure you're all aware, GCSEs have changed radically over the last few years. So the content is more challenging across all of the subjects. They are assessed largely through end of course exams rather than through coursework and the grading system has also changed. Under the old system there were grades D to U at the bottom and these have been replaced by grades 3 to U under the new system. Students who previously would have attained grades B or C will now be awarded grades 4, 5 or 6 and at the top end grades A and A star under the old system have been replaced under the new system by grades 7, 8 and 9. The Key Stage 4 curriculum at Bishop Stockford has three layers. At the centre is the core curriculum and this will be followed by the vast majority of students at the school. It contains eight or nine GCSEs and whether students study eight or nine will be determined by whether they follow trilogy science or triple science and that decision will be made for them by the science department. There is also an options layer so students will have to select three options from the choices provided and wrapped around those two elements are wider studies. So at the core of the curriculum are seven or eight subjects, which are English, English literature, French, maths, RE and science. And as intimated previously, that science will either be trilogy science, which is worth two GCSEs, or triple science, which is worth three GCSEs. Students will also have to choose three options from the vast array of choices which are available to them. There is also a vast array of opportunities outside of this, including assemblies, careers events and trips and visits as part of subjects. In terms of the options layer, students must choose three options and a reserve. One of those options must be either geography or history. They can do both, but they must choose at least one of those. They then make two other choices. Students must also make a reserve choice, and the reason for this is in case particular subjects are oversubscribed. There are prohibited combinations, and this is because of an overlapping content between different subjects. So students cannot follow both computer science and iMedia, and neither can they study DT and food. You might be thinking, why are students having to opt for particular subjects? And this is because the government is very keen for students to follow the EBAC suite of subjects. And more information about this is contained within the options booklet. In terms of making choices, we give students clear guidance, which we strongly encourage them to follow. So one of the things that we suggest is that they do not follow a subject simply because their friend is choosing it. Similarly, we would not expect them to follow a subject because historically one of their siblings followed that subject. And this is because as GCSEs have changed in recent years, it may be a very different course on offer. We also advise students not to follow a subject simply because they think they know the content and don't rule out a subject for the same reason. We strongly advise students to consider the information in the options booklet carefully, be honest about their likes and dislikes and make choices accordingly. Ask lots of questions, so take the opportunity to speak to subject teachers, to heads of department and heads of faculty and to use the remote options evening to answer any additional questions which they may have. Make sure 
they, they choose a reserve choice which they would be interested in following were one of their options not to be available for them. It's really important that students understand the key dates within the process this year. So the options booklet and options form will be issued to students on Friday the 11th of December and there will be a tutorial session in school on that day devoted to the options process. On Tuesday the 15th of December there will be the options evening which runs alongside the calendared progress review and students need to use that as an opportunity as I said previously to ask any questions which they may have. The deadline for the options form to be handed into form tutors is Friday the 29th of January. Forms may be handed in prior to this date but this is the deadline for all options choices for Year 9 students. In terms of who to contact if there are any questions which subject teachers can't answer, I would direct you to myself, Mr Kirk, Assistant Head Teacher, but also speak to Mr Lewis, who is the Head of Year 9, and Mrs Castle, who is the Careers Coordinator at the school. And their email addresses appear on the slide should you wish to contact any of us.